Hey guys, I'm back playing State of Decay. Um, I did try this before, but I had a little technical difficulty. Uh, not so much actually technical difficulty, more like my cats decided to pull out every single cable behind my computer. So I just lost probably about, about half an hour's worth of footage, but you know, that's fine. I'll just do it all again, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm here in State of Decay. Um, Oh, I think I'll need to come back. Um, yeah, so I'm here playing State of Decay. Um, I haven't played this in a while. Um, and by a while, I mean like in the last, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Um, but I've gotten used to the controls again. So I'm going to try and get some more resources from houses. Uh, kill some zombies. Really stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, so that I'm just going to be playing this. And, um, oh, great. Flat batteries. It's like they don't want me to record today. Alright, back again. So, I don't remember what I was saying. But anyway, I'm playing... I'm playing, uh... State of Decay. Gonna kill some zombies. Um, find some people. Um, find some food and health and resources and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. So, I've had... I haven't done one of these in a while. Um... So, uh, yeah, hopefully going to be doing some more still. Um, just see how, how I go, really. I have a zombie on my tail. That, oh, that was explodey. Um, yeah, so uh, recently um, there's been the new Flash TV series that um, has been, uh, hasn't, officially come out yet but it's uh leaked online um not entirely sure who leaked it um whether it's whether it was the uh network or um yeah not really sure who exactly leaked it um could have been the network could have been somebody from the network that's just decided hey you know um let's just you know, put it out there and see what happens and then, you know, calibrate for it, you know. If people like it, then, you know, even better. If they don't like it, well, you know, it doesn't really make a difference to us. So, regardless of how they leaked it, you know, it's leaked, it's out there, you can watch it, you know, and um, and I watched it recently. So, yeah, um, all in all, I would say that it was a very nice pilot. Um, a lot of the... I give shows... Mainly, I give shows probably about three or four episodes because you can't really judge a show by the pilot. Um, don't really have enough time to sort of develop any characters, develop any storylines, get you sort of involved in what the characters are up to. So, I like to give episode. I like to give shows probably about four episodes um, to see how I feel about them. Um, but yeah, this was just the initial pilot. All in all, I'd say it was really, really, really nice pilot. Um, they kept true to the comic books to certain extents. Um, they kept um, the origin of what happened with Flash's mum. Um, we don't actually know, like, 
I, I know what happens, but you know, in, in the show, they haven't told us yet exactly what happens. I'm guessing that would be a end of the season type deal. Um, showing us exactly what happened and all that part of the story, or it might not even be that soon. It might be uh, later on down the track, but um, yeah, you know, it kept, it, it was really well, um, really well done. Um, they kept the comedic aspect of it, um, which was nice. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they, they kept the comedic part of who Barry is, which is, you know, what they had. Um, one thing I do like to sort of bring up on is um, the crossover that they had. You know, obviously, you know, you guys may or may not know that um, this show is a um, is a sp- kind of a spin-off type thing um, of uh, the um, Arrow series. Um, now, you might not know the Arrow series... Um, that's that's going that's on at the moment. Um, you you may know it, you may not. Um, but you don't necessarily need to watch the Arrow series to be able to watch the Flash series. It's independent. It's on its own, but um, it it does help because there is a little crossover there, and you're not entirely sure who this guy is, which is Green Arrow. Um, so you're not really sh- sure who this guy is um, unless you've watched the Arrow series. But the fact that they have a crossover in the pilot, um, to me, I think is is good sign because cross crossovers and spin-off shows, you know, they um, they need to be loosely they need to be connected to the show. Um, you know, they've been spun off from it, and you know, obviously networks ask for spin-offs of shows because the original show was successful so it's it's normal to have a have the spin-off um include actors and characters and stuff from the original so the little the scene that i'm talking about in particular is you've probably seen in the trailer of where barry goes and talks to um oliver um and uh yeah and basically um you know that he he goes in talks to him and says you know i don't know if i can be a hero uh, i don't know if i can you know you know i was just a guy who was struck by lightning and blah 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 and um yeah and that that that's basically what the the scene was and you know it's just oliver saying you know you're a better hero than what i could ever be because you inspire people um which is which is true even to the point you know in the comic books where um, Barry Allen um, becomes a Blue Lantern because he, you know, instills hope in people, um, which, you know, which which is good that they're bringing all of that, all of that across, you know, and it, and it's, I th- I think it's a really really good idea for them to have done what they have done with the show. So, all of that. Um, how do I use this? Ah, oh, there we go. Um, so with with saying all that, um, I would say that all in all, I think the show, the pilot worked well. Um, it kept true to the original story of Barry Allen, um, gave him his powers, gave him gave us his costume from the get go, um, and I, th- I think the way that they've showed his super speed um, is good because you know it's. It has been has been done before. Super Speed with uh, Smallville, um, so, yeah, it's just, with with movies, it's a lot easier for them to do that because obviously they have a bigger budget to do those sort of special effects. But um, you know, it's been it's been done in Smallville and the old Flash series, and they just didn't really get it right so much. Um, and the, what I found that they how they did. Uh, what they did right with it is um, they based it off the Flashpoint animated. Um, oh, damn it! Um, they based it off the Flashpoint animated um, movie, uh, which they that's what they actually said. And I quite like the way they did um, the Flash's um, superpower, uh, su- super speed in that. It wasn't so much just a, a red blur, but you could see, you know, the because he's he's going fast, you know unhumanly fast um you know so there's obviously going to be a 
you know, some some type of trail behind him, you know, whether it be electricity or whether it be a blur or whatever it is, um, you know, he's got a super he's got a superpower. So, you know, there's obviously going to be some sort of effect to that superpower. Um, which they showed, you know, they showed it in a way where it was kind of a blur, but it's kind of electricity as well. Um, which, which I, which I quite liked. I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was good. I thought it was well done. It wasn't just a blur going past, you know, you could actually see, um, excuse me, you could actually see, uh, Barry Allen sort of figure around him as, as he's running, running around. And, um, Oh, there's zombies outside. Um, yeah, but you can actually you could actually see his uh, figure um, in the electricity, uh, which was good. And um, yeah, I quite like how they did it. And you know, he did a few saves and um, saved a few people. And he caught a roof of a barn in midair, which was great, by the way. It was such such a cool thing to see him just to just jump and just grab it and fly around, sort of fly around. Um, but yeah, that's that's all the good things about it. Now I want to the bad things about it. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's not wasn't a lot of terrible things about it. Um, they did try and make it a little obvious that you know he was Barry Allen and he was the Flash. Um, you know, just the typical stuff that when he was a kid, you know, he, all he wore was red, which when I was a kid, I didn't just wear one color of clothing. Um, you know, they, they they made it very, very obvious that this kid was the Flash. And um, by putting him in red and, you know, making him running away from bullies and you know, even to the point where, you know, saying, you know, why we, why'd you get into a fight? He goes, oh, because someone's getting picked on. So I decided to stand up for them, um, which, yeah, good, I guess. But it's not necessarily the type of thing where you really need to rub our faces in it and saying, hey, you know, this, this kid is, uh, this kid is the Flash. He's going to be the Flash. That's, that's who he is. You know, like, yeah, okay, good that we know who he is, but you don't really need to necessarily rub our faces in it. Like, we know what the show's about. Obviously, this kid is the Flash, so we don't need to see, you know, you don't really need to make it obvious that, you know, he's wearing red and he's running away and he's, you know, since he was a kid, he was a superhero. He acted like a superhero, so... Yeah, like, that. that that's a problem that I've, I've always had with these sort of superhero movies and shows is they always like to show the superhero um acting like a superhero as a kid and wearing the superhero colors it's like he obviously you know barry aaron uh, the can't talk barry allen obviously didn't know he was going to be a superhero and he was going to be the flash so why would he necessarily wear red all the time when he's a kid you know what i mean he doesn't it's not like you know as soon as you become a super, like when you're a kid, you go, all right, I'm going to just wear blue because I'm going to become a superhero when I grow up and I'm going to only wear blue. Like that's going to be my costume. And not, not just that, it also gives it away because it's like, hey, you know, this kid, he's wore red his whole life ever since he was a, a child. And now there's a superhero that wears red. You know, is that a coincidence? You know, yeah, it's just it's just little stuff like that where it's like you know we're not we don't really need to be told and say hey you know this guy here he's he's the superhero he's gonna be the main character type of thing like obviously if you're showing us if we know the show is about an adult and you're showing us a kid obviously we know that that kid is probably gonna be the hero of the story. Um, Apart from that, there wasn't. There's not really much to sort of say in terms of bad things about it. Um, all in all, it was good. It still needs some development, um, you know. And it's it's a typical like I wouldn't say so much typical, but I would also say that it is a CW show, so there is all those sort of drama and 
you know, keeping secrets from each other type of thing that all, that, you know, all CW shows have, you know, and, you know, it's, it's worked well for them and I'm not saying that they should not, um, oh, look, there's an Xbox. Huh, did not know that. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not saying it's, it's something that they should not do anymore. Um, I still think that, you know, what's worked for CW, you know, has worked well. You know, they've got, they have had successful shows with Arrow following the same model as well as um, Supernatural and all their other shows that they have on their network. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a bad thing that they're following this same model, but, you know, it's the type of thing where you can sort of change it up a little bit, just sort of test it, you know, just to make sure that what you're actually doing is working for you. Um, I can't find anything else in this house. No Zeds here. House clear, okay. But there's nothing else in here. Okay. Um, yeah, so like I said, I think, you know, it's a good a good idea that uh, CW is following the same model with um, the Flash series, but... All in all, you don't need to. It's not necessity for you to copy the exact. Looks like an infestation. E. That's not good. We're going to have to destroy people. Eh, let's go anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I would say, you know, good on you, CW. Bring on a great new show. Um, the pilot was fantastic. I I. I enjoyed it. I thought it might have been a little too short um, for a pilot. Typically, I would like to see a pilot be probably an hour length. Um, probably, probably a bit more than an hour length, actually. But you know, it was it was good. It did it did the job. Um, it kept kept true to the comic book. Not so much as Green Arrow has. Green Arrow has kind of diverged off from the comic a little bit but that's not necessarily a bad thing you know it's it's a good thing that you know they've you know taken bits taken villains and storylines from the comic book and expanded it and turned it into their own um you know which which has been enjoyable um watching arrow but you know there is you can you know write your own storyline that's the whole point of these superhero movies and TV shows is, you know, you expand on what's already there. The characters have been developed, you know, the characters have got their own backstories and how they got their superhero powers and all that sort of thing. So you don't necessarily have to dwell that much into that part of it um, and sort of explain how it works um, because, you know, they've done m loads and loads of comic book um, comic books about, you know, where their powers come from, their limitations, all that sort of thing. So you don't really need to explain that too much, you know, just expand on what you have, you know, expand on the storyline um, that... Oh, I should probably reload, run away. Um, yeah, you just, just sort of make your own story, you know, which I think that they've done. They haven't really explained it too much, is that... You know, he's a kid who's been struck by lightning and now he has superpowers, you know. And it's good, you know. it's It works well. It's... Let's shoot this guy very quick. Why isn't he dying? I don't like that. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, that's not a good idea. I'm on fire. Okay. Alright, he's dead now. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. I gotta clean this out, don't I? Hmm. Um, but yeah, I thought it was good. You know, nice expansion on the story. Um, nice um, character development. Um, some of the extra, some of the minor characters might have a little bit more developing to go, but, you know, we'll just, we'll see how that goes for now. Um, 
Yeah, so that's about it for now. Um, if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. Watch the tra- watch the pilot. It's out now. Um, officially, it won't come out, I think, to... Oh, that's not... That's a horde. Um, yeah, it's out now. Officially, it's not out for another few months, I think. Um, so, yeah. So, you can wait till then um, and watch the polished up version. Um, I'm sure now that they've released it, they're going to listen to how what people have said maybe change some bits here and there. Um, I doubt it though. Um, it looked pretty complete to me. It didn't look like there was any effects missing or anything like that. It looked like a very nice, complete episode. Um, so yeah, so if you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend that you go you go watch it. Um, it's a very, very good trailer. Uh, oh, sorry, pilot. Very, very good pilot. Um, and uh, yeah, so... Definitely go watch it, or you can wait. Up to you. Um, let me know what you think about it, uh, whether you liked it or not, whether you liked the story, uh, whether you think they should have expanded on it a bit more, what they should have included, what they should not have concluded. Um, stuff like that. Um, so let me know, and um, I guess I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.